Welcome back guys. Thanks for tuning in to another video. Uh, we are super, super excited today. We got uh, the parts in for the RS5. Uh, if you haven't seen the video where I explained some of the mods I was getting, please check it out. It's in the top link of the description and I'll tag it in the video. Um, today we are gonna be installing a couple performance mods along with some cosmetic mods. Um, I'm super pumped. I think this is gonna turn out great. Uh, so without further ado, let's get into it. Alrighty, so one thing that I was really, really excited for was to finally get a cold air intake for the Audi RS5. Um, it is a twin turbo V6, as most of you know who are familiar with the cars. Um, I was really hoping for more of some turbo noise, um, even coming from the exhaust. I think I have to get downpipes to really hear it out of the exhaust. Um, but I went and purchased a APR cold air intake. Uh, so I'll show you that guys right now. So as we have here, we have the cold air intake with its piping and induction system along with all your clamps and whatnot. I also bought this carbon fiber ECU cover um, on, the, on the car. It's actually just open and I don't understand why. I think it looked better with that cover on there. Along with these, these are just little uh, carbon fiber pieces with three mil tape on the back that will go on the actual engine cover itself. Um, I think it'll look pretty sick on there. All right, so just a look under the hood here. So now that ECU cover, there's your ECU. That carbon fiber little piece is gonna go there. Um, the little carbon fiber pieces for the uh, engine cover are gonna come from here down to here and here down to here. Just a little strip, it'll make it kind of clean it up nice, make it look cool. Um, and then here's your actual intake uh, right here, along with your piping down there and then your induction system here. Um, so we're going to be replacing that. I'm going to leave the camera here and give it a couple revs um, and see if I can get you some turbo noise. Um, there's not much, so that's what we're going to hopefully try to solve today. And we'll do a review on the APR carbon fiber intake. All right, so once again, this, this isn't really an install video. This is more or less showing you what I'm doing and giving you the finished product. Um, I have a hard enough time doing this shit myself, so to explain it to somebody else is another level for me. So um, I'm gonna go over it a little bit. I'll show you the best I can and uh, you know, kind of just give you guys the best idea that you know you can really get in terms of purchasing one if you're looking to do that. Uh, if not, if you want to watch the entertainment of me struggling to put this in by myself, then you're more than welcome. So uh, just to give you guys an idea, so here's the ECU cover. Now this is going to go on something like something like that so you guys can have an idea. Gets rid of the uh, the silver there and just gives it that nice carbon fiber clean look. Looks pretty sick on there already. I'm excited for that. Now this, these pieces here, something like that. And flip that around. something something along that line there. So that looks pretty sick. I like that as well. Uh, and then obviously this piece. So this is all going to be carbon fiber. This is going to be carbon fiber as long as the piping is going to be carbon fiber. So it's going to come out really sick. I'm super excited and hopefully, uh, hopefully the um, intake noise that you guys heard, you got something. I mean, like I said, there's not much and hopefully that changes. Right, super quick update this is a pain in the ass <laughs> so the problem i'm having i'll just show you guys quick so i have the actual air box out i have all this disassembled and everything so the only problem i'm having is there's uh that bottom uh t30 on the bottom so the same thing as these ones on the top those ones on the bottom are super super hard to get like there's just no angle the um the proper tool i looked online is you need basically a wrench with a socket end on it and I just don't have one. Um, that's probably the easiest way because you need something super flat just to try to reach in there. So that's the problem I'm having. Um, I don't even really know what to do at this point, but we're gonna keep trying. Um, I did put this on just because I wanted to see something cool. So that's on there, the ECU cover. 
So that looks really, really good. Um, so we'll pick it back up in a minute when we get a little bit farther along here. 2,000 years later. Guys, I got it. Jesus Christ, look at this. All right, so I finally was able to get the tubing out. Um, that, those, that bottom one and that bottom one. Hardest thing in the freaking world. I've been out here for literally hours trying to figure out the best way to get to it because there is so tight in there. All I got to say is fuck you, Audi, because Jesus Christ, that is like impossible. But hey, one thing I learned as a mechanic, and no, I'm not a mechanic, but one thing I've learned, persistence. Don't give up. Follow your dreams. Just go for it. All right, so we're going to start putting this thing back together. All right, guys, here's the finished product. So we have the cold air and filter. All your carbon fiber on the engine cover there. And then your ECU cover. Really looks fantastic. Really kind of cleans everything up. So super happy with it. Let's uh, see if we actually gained anything and uh, hear if we can hear some turbo noise or not. So I, based on the video of previously just revving it now, um, I could definitely hear a little bit. Um, I'm hoping while driving because we do have the 4K rev limit. So we're gonna take you on a quick drive and just see if we can actually hear anything. All right, guys. So we are out. Um, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna lie. I'm. I'm disappointed. Um, I'll do a little downshift. I don't know if uh, just because the exhaust is so loud um, or if it really just didn't add what I was looking for. Um, I'm not hearing much of the whoosh or anything like that. Maybe because it's twin turbo, I, I really don't know. Or I'm not looking for the, like, I know like the blow off valve where that would let out all that air and you would actually hear it, but. I hear it very very faintly i doubt that even the camera will pick it up but i i, I think it might have increased the sound a little bit but nothing nothing crazy so a little disappointing especially for spending as much as i did um however um it did increase the performance uh apr claims 30 percent more airflow um so even you know eventually when this thing is tuned that combo will be, be helpful um i don't plan on doing uh downpipes at least for right now um, it would make the car super, super obnoxiously loud based on the videos I watch and for, for my job um, where I go to customer's house and sell the work that my company does, um, I just, it's not respectable. It's, it just would be, it'd be too much. So um, I don't plan on doing that for now. If something changes to where uh, maybe we get a company vehicle or anything like that, then this thing would be receiving a lot more mods. But uh, for now, that's going to wrap that up uh, in terms of getting anything, uh, increasing the sound um, or anything like that. So, All right, guys, that's going to wrap up today's video. Um, unfortunately, not exactly what I was looking for in terms of sound. The look is fantastic. Um, it was relatively easy to install. However, um, the bottom nuts for those, or those, the Torx bit pieces were very, very difficult to get off without the proper tool. Um, other than that, very, very clean, very easy, uh, great look. So I'm super stoked on that, especially when we are out and about popping hoods and stuff at car meets, everybody can see all the carbon fiber, it'll look sick. However, just the sound was not there for me, unfortunately. Um, not a total waste, but not a total gain. Um, is what it is. If, uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment what you think, if there's something I'm missing, uh, please share that with me, uh, share the video, and we'll catch you in the next one.